Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So I do have the very latest Apple MacBook Pro, which has the Apple M1 chip and it is supported by the Apple's Metal Hardware Accelerated Graphics. It means that Apple has their own GPU, which is available on new Apple hardware. After I got the MacBook, I wanted to install both TensorFlow and PyTorch to take the advantage of the Apple GPU or the metal based hardware accelerated graphics. The good news is that both PyTorch as well as the TensorFlow are supported by this Apple metal based hardware accelerated graphics. So this, so this video is all about putting both TensorFlow as well as the PyTorch on any Apple hardware which is supported by the metal based hardware accelerated graphics. This video covers a start to finish installation and solves various problems while you are installing both TensorFlow as well as the PyTorch. However, if you are just interested to install either TensorFlow or PyTorch or both, you can jump to certain chapters for the installation only or you can enjoy the full video to learn how you could get both TensorFlow and PyTorch working on your Apple metal based hardware to take advantage of hardware accelerated graphics for your deep learning projects. So the any Apple platform which is supported by the metal powered hardware accelerated graphics, it means that it has the metal chip on it. And this chip is responsible for the graphics processing unit or the GPU in those Apple hardware, whether you have the MacBook or you have the Apple iMac hardware. PyTorch version 1.12 and above already has the native support for the Apple metal based GPU. It means if you are going to install the Mac version of PyTorch version 1.12 and above, you are going to get the base support for the GPU accelerated deep learning and the TensorFlow does have the pluggable device package named TensorFlow Metal to support the TensorFlow with GPU on Apple Silicon with Metal GPU hardware. If you would want to have both TensorFlow and PyTorch running on your machine along with the Apple Metal GPU, it's best for you to have the Conda version installed in your machine. Top of the Conda, we are also going to install the Mini Forge version of the Conda and the Python environment which is going to be created by the Mini Forge is what is going to have both TensorFlow as well as the PyTorch together. So let me show you that I do have the Conda environment in my machine. And as you could see that Conda is actually coming out from Anaconda installation, which is installed at my home folder. Another important thing I wanted to share with you is that whenever you are installing the Conda, it is going to work with your terminal shell. In this machine, I am using the G shell. So the Conda initialization, which you always do using the shell. So Conda energy shell command. Let me show you cat dot gshrc so that's my resource file for the z shell at the very bottom you can see that the conda initialization is set to use the anaconda bin conda it means the it's using the conda environment which is created using the anaconda however whenever you are going to install the mini force version of the conda it is going to install side by side with anaconda as well as mini force then you must make sure that which particular one, whether Mini Forge or the Anaconda is really going to set in your shell. I already have a folder named Apple TF Torch and I have already downloaded this Mini Forge Mac OS ARM64 version of the file, which you can visit at the Conda Force GitHub repo. And depending on your operating system, you can find different versions of Mini Forge here. I am using the mini forge Mac OS arm for the Apple Silicon. So that's the file looking at the Apple documentation to install the TensorFlow plugin. You can see that first you need to make sure that this script is runnable using Chmod and then you can run it 
So SH mini force we are running. Enter, accept, yes. It is going to install at my home folder and the folder name mini force 3. Go ahead, do it. So here you could see that is trying to initialize the mini force running the conda in it. One more thing I wanted to show you that when this mini force is being installed, it's using the Python 3.10.6. And here it's an optional and the default is no and make sure that you use no because if you are going to use yes, it is going to overwrite your conda base and then some of the environment may not be easily accessible. No is the better option. So no, at this point, if you look into the Z shell, you see that our conda version is still using the previous setting. So it means there is no change at all. In the next step, we are going to activate the mini force version base version because when you try to activate this command, which is the installation of the mini force and activate it actually activate the base version of the Python source mini force pin activate and you see that base it shows that I'm using the base version and looking into the Python version is the 3.10.6 which was installed when mini force was being installed if I do the conda deactivate I am out if I check Python you will see that there is no Python running because in my machine I disable the Python and Python is only av available through the environments so at this point, the environment is ready. So whenever we would want to use both TensorFlow as well as the PyTorch, we are always going to use this mini force version. Next step, you need to use the Conda to install the TensorFlow dependency. We are not going to use the pip. So just use the command as it is. So TensorFlow dependencies are going to be installed by Conda. It means they are going to be available for all other Conda environments. And you need to make sure that when you run this command, your environment is ready. So by default, it's going to set up the current environment, which is active. We will select yes here and the TensorFlow dependencies are going to be installed. Installation is complete. If you run this command again, you will get immediate message that all the dependencies are installed correctly. So one thing I just wanted to show you that Currently, we are in Python and if I try to say import TensorFlow, there is no TensorFlow. If I try to install import the torch, you will see there is no TensorFlow. There is no torch in this environment. So TensorFlow dependencies are only installed. So let's install the TensorFlow for Mac OS. Make sure that your environment is still there. So TensorFlow is installed after TensorFlow. We need to make sure that we also install the TensorFlow Metal plugin. So TensorFlow Metal plugin is designed based on the pluggable device architecture of TensorFlow, which is used to support additional support on top of TensorFlow for additional accelerators such as GPU, TPU, XPU or anything else. That's why the TensorFlow package is installed as a pluggable device plugin. So we need to make sure that we install TensorFlow Metal. And just to make sure when you are installing the TensorFlow Metal, make sure that it actually shows that it's using the ARM64 based wheel package. I think that's all you really needed at this point to get the TensorFlow working. Run the Python and if you import the TensorFlow at this point, very first time when you are going to import the TensorFlow, it might take a little extra time and STF. Now you can validate the GPU is available or not. So you can use the TensorFlow older the test version is GPU available. And it's going to show you that yes, we do have the Apple M1 Pro based GPU available. But rather than using the tf.test, you can actually use the tf.config and it shows the GPU is available. It shows that both CPU and GPUs are available. So that's how you can validate that the TensorFlow is actually installed and it's using the Apple M1 chip for the GPU. At this point, we do not have the torch here because we haven't installed the torch. So let's exit and do the same command. So remember when we were installing the pip install TensorFlow, you can actually use the torch here and 
when you are installing torch if you remember the torch version 1.12 and above already has support for mps graph it means the gpu acceleration is supported through the mps graph for the pi torch so let's install the top torch first when the torch is being installed you will see that it's actually using the arm 64 version of the package and it's using the torch version 1.12.1 it means so it satisfy all the requirements torch is installed at this point we will go back to python import torch after torch is available so you can do torch dot backends you see torch dot backends and within the backends you have something called the mps so using mps you can say is available and if it is true it means the torch backend is using mps which is supported by the apple m1 chip mps graph you can also say the torch dot backend mps is built they both must be true if they both are true it means that your version of torch which is running on mac has support to gpu acceleration using mps graph at this point our tensorflow is also ready to go just this way it proves that for the mini forge base python environment we do have both tensorflow and torch running with gpu support let's quit it let's honda deactivate so we are out from our base environment so there is no environment running because if i go back to python python is not available and if i go back to my other environment conda activate pi 310 so we do have pi 310 environment available so looking at the which and uh, where conda the conda is still launching from the anaconda 3 so let's exit from this environment so i will exit it and i will recreate the window nothing so conda activate pi3 now you see that pi3 is working so if you look into here python this is using python 3.10.4 activate the mini force we need to use this now we use python it's using 3.10.6 so you can see that after i have closed my terminal and i restarted my terminal everything is back to normal so now you have both tensorflow as well as the pytorch working and taking advantage of apple's metal based hardware accelerated graphics or the gpu so that's all i have for you in this video thank you so much for your time and i'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video until then thank you so much